girls, if you remember, we're talking about Queen Esther and uh, what's happening in the uh, Persian Empire. And if you remember, Haman was a very proud man who did not like the Jews. And remember, nobody told anybody that Esther, Queen Esther, was a Jew. She kept that a secret. And so Haman had made a law that went out to all the land of Persia. Now, Persia Empire is huge, and they're going by horseback. So it's kind of like bigger than going from Maine all the way to California by horseback. So it's going to take a while for them to get on horseback to get the uh, new law out to all the lands. And so it was going to happen on the third day of the 12th month. So it's in the future where all the people could kill the Jews and they could take all their things. And if you remember, Esther's cousin, Mordecai, he was, oh, it was probably sickening to him to know what was going to happen to the Jewish people. And he had put on the sackcloth and the ashes, and he was praying to the Lord. And while he was dressed like this, he couldn't go talk to Queen Esther. And Esther was trying to figure out what was going on. And Esther finally heard back from Mordecai that uh, Haman had passed a new law that all the Jews would be killed. And so Esther was in prayer because what Esther wanted to do was to go see the king. Now, remember, she's married to the king, but even though she was married to the king, she could not go see the king unless the king had called for her first. That was the law. And so if she would go see the king and he would uh, stretch out this golden scepter that he had, then she knew that she was going to be safe. But if, if it had angered the king that she had come to him without being called, she could be put to death. So she was very nervous about going to see the king. And she was in prayer for days, prayer and fasting for days before she went to go see the king. When she went in to see the king, he handed out his golden scepter. And so he asked her, what can I do for you, queen? What would you like? I'll give you half the kingdom. You can ask for whatever you like up to a half of the kingdom. Well, Queen Esther didn't think it was the right time to tell her about the Jews and what Haman had plotted. So she said, if it please the king, can you and Haman come for a banquet, a dinner tonight? And so that's what they did that night. Haman and King Ahasuerus came for that banquet. Now, Haman, remember, he's a proud man. And he thought, whoa, I, the queen likes me. I'm coming to this dinner. And uh, wow, King Ahasuerus likes me. Queen Esther likes me. I'm pretty important. So he was going home that night feeling pretty important, pretty proud. And so while they were at that dinner, King asked the queen again, what, what was her request? And she said, well, if it please the king, please come to a banquet tomorrow night. And for King, for Haman and King Ahasuerus for the next night. Well, Haman went home pretty proud and pretty telling all of his people, uh, all of his friends and everything. Whoa, I get to go to the banquet again tomorrow night. And so uh, while he was walking home that night, now I remember, Everybody was supposed to bow to Haman, but Mordecai did not bow down to Haman, did not acknowledge him, because Mordecai would not bow down to man. He only bowed down to God. And so that made Haman angry. Now remember, Haman has already passed the law to kill the Jews. So he knew on the third day of the 12th month that Mordecai was going to be killed. And, but that... Haman was still so irritated, so mad at Mordecai. He went home, was talking to his family, and his family decided, do you know what, Mordecai? Let's just, uh, you know what, Haman? Let's just kill Mordecai tomorrow. Let's get rid of Mordecai. And so that's what Haman decided. He decided he'd build a real big gallows where they used to hang people. He'd build it. 80 feet tall so that when everybody looked at it, they would know that uh, Haman was pretty important and he could get rid of anybody he wanted to. So that was the plan. He built this big gallow 
and he was going to kill Mordecai early. He wasn't going to wait for the third day of the 12th month. He was going to kill him early. And then that night, after he killed Mordecai in the morning, then he would go to the feast with the queen. Because remember, he's important. And uh, we're going to find out in our next lesson what happens the next day. Because this is, it isn't going to happen as Haman thinks it's going to happen. So we'll find that out on our next lesson. Hey boys and girls, welcome back to one. I'm Josh the Game Guy, and for tonight's game, you're going to have to find four easy to grab objects. Then you're going to take those four easy to grab objects and place them in four different locations in your house. Then you're going to have to have a starting line and then a finish line. Starting at the starting line, you're going to have to race through your house and grab all, all four objects before going to the finish line. Try to get the fastest time possible. That's all for tonight's game. Have fun.